Guys, I know a lot of you are panicking with the crypto situation, but crypto is not dead in the United States. Because first of all, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a couple of the other cryptos are not going to be in the legal status of securities. They're already not securities. The second thing people tend to forget is that Gary Gensler is not God. He is not um, Congress. He is not the president. He's not the president of the Senate. He is just a regulator. His uh, role is to enforce the law, not to make the laws. And he is obviously overstepping his bounds and assuming that laws are certain ways when they do not state that on paper. And several judges have reprimanded him, although he has not paid attention. For instance, the LBRY judge stated that uh, his ruling does not apply to secondary markets, implying somewhat that secondary markets are not securities. Now, he didn't actually say that. This is something that people are getting wrong. People said the LBRY case judge actually said that secondary market cryptos are not securities. That's not true. He didn't actually say that. He just said my ruling does not apply to secondary markets, meaning that um, they're not necessarily securities. He didn't say they weren't securities. It is still ambiguous in that case, and that's part of what we're fighting over in the Ripple case and in other cases. Second of all, there's a lot of legal stuff on the SEC's plate. And the SEC, um, even though it has a really good record in crypto, they have lost against other people like Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, etc., etc. Their victories against crypto are generally fairly small ones. They didn't really go to a judgment for any of those cases. They basically won in settlement, except for the Telegram case. But Telegram was a very, very different case. They obviously had like a big, big ICO uh, in the United States. And they were obviously raising money and stuff. That was the whole purpose of their ICO. So that's a little bit different. In the kick, in the kick case, in the EOS case, they always they went for settlements for very small fines, and they gave a no action letter. Not really a big win for the SEC, and they always sued companies that didn't have the resources to fight back. This time, hitting Binance, hitting Coinbase, hitting Ripple, they are in a different league all of themselves, and their lawyers have not been doing such a great job in keeping them above the competition. And Judge Torith and other uh, judges have basically has some disdain for the way the SEC is doing things because they are not paying attention to what the judges are actually ruling. So obviously, they're really not happy with what Gary Ginsler or the way that Gary Ginsler is carrying business. And the thing is, the SEC has backed themselves into an all or nothing stance. There is not going to be any settlement for the Ripple case. It's like all the cryptos are either going to be securities or they're not going to be securities because uh, the Coinbase lawsuit, like I said in the previous video, is in the same jurisdiction as the SEC uh, ruling. So both judges are most likely like 99% they're going to rule the same way. One's, it's not like one's going to rule say, one way and one's going to rule the other on cases that are pretty much the same and in the exact same district or jurisdiction that really just doesn't happen. So the SEC is up against a wall as well. And I think they know it. So they're trying to take this time to actually sue as many people as possible. The crypto community is also coming together. We were all disparate and like had our own um, agendas. But the SEC suing everyone has actually brought us together. And we've unveiled some corruption with the SEC. The Hinman docs will probably stymie. Uh, SEC efforts to actually sue anyone else, even though it may, may, or, may or may not pertain to the Ripple case, uh, because, you know, both sides judges have actually had the papers to the case for a while now. I mean, both sides attorneys have had the uh, papers for a while now, and so has the judge. This is just revealing it to the public. Maybe we'll see more corruption. I'm not really sure. But the thing is, People need to remember the SEC does not make the laws. And the laws right now on paper do not state that crypto is a security. There are bills that actually would pre uh, preclude crypto from being a security and that would make them not securities. And those are the ones that the SEC do not want to pass. And obviously, those are the ones that we really want to pass. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Nothing is written in stone as much as Gary Ginzer wants you to think it's written in stone. Nothing's actually written in stone. And I do think that there's a lot of stuff that we can say or do uh, that could actually preclude a lot of this, uh, a lot of the stuff from happening. But realistically, like I think people are jumping to conclusions, they're panicking, and you should not panic right now. Altcoins have bounced back a little bit today, not very much. They may continue to bounce back as people actually sort of recover from their initial shock. 
And the thing is, like, if you sell right now, you're running the risk that the SEC, like, loses one of these cases and cryptos bounce way, way up. So you're basically going to bet on whether the SEC is going to win or lose this case. But right now, I don't think it's a smart bet to actually sell everything. I wouldn't buy a lot, obviously, but I would hold and see what actually happens because you have to remember that the once again that Gary Gensler, what he says is not law. He wants you to he wants to make you think that it's law, but it's actually not law. And I think that's his hope to get everyone to panic. So the best thing you can do right now is to actually not panic. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.